Every single AI system you've ever used, from ChatGPT to Claude to Gemini, suffers from the same catastrophic problem that's been holding back artificial general intelligence for years. It's called catastrophic forgetting, and it's exactly what it sounds like. The moment you train an AI model on something new, it immediately forgets what it learned previously. Current AI systems cannot truly learn and adapt over time the way humans do. They can be retrained on new data, sure, but they can't remember old knowledge while simultaneously acquiring new skills. Every time engineers fine-tune these models, it's essentially like wiping the system's brain clean and starting from scratch. Andre Karpathy, co-founder of OpenAI and former head of AI at Tesla, has publicly stated this represents one of the biggest technical bottlenecks preventing us from achieving AGI right now. No matter how massive these models become, no matter how many parameters or how much training data they consume, they still fundamentally cannot learn continuously the way biological intelligence does. Even Elon Musk referenced this limitation recently when discussing Grok 5's development timeline. He estimated Grok 5 has approximately a 10% probability of reaching AGI, and when someone asked whether it would feature continual learning capabilities, Musk replied that dynamic reinforcement learning is critically important, adding that Grok 5, like genuinely smart humans, should learn almost immediately from new experiences. But so far, that's all remained aspirational talk without concrete technical breakthroughs to back it up until now. Because Google just published a research paper that might genuinely represent the most significant advancement towards solving this fundamental problem in artificial intelligence. The paper is titled, Introducing Nested Learning, a New Machine Learning Paradigm for Continual Learning. And if the results hold up under broader testing, this could fundamentally change how we build AI systems going forward. Nested learning represents a completely new approach to machine learning architecture that views models not as monolithic systems, but as collections of smaller nested optimization problems, each operating with its own internal workflow and learning rate. The explicit goal is to mitigate or potentially even completely eliminate catastrophic forgetting, where acquiring proficiency on new tasks inevitably destroys performance on previously learned tasks. In simpler terms, instead of building one giant brain attempting to learn everything simultaneously at the same rate, Google's approach essentially creates a brain composed of many interconnected smaller brains, each learning at its own optimal speed. Some components adapt rapidly to new information, others learn slowly and consolidate knowledge over time. Together they construct a layered memory system that doesn't automatically erase itself every time it encounters new training data. Google's researchers acknowledge that while we've witnessed absolutely massive progress in AI capabilities over the past decade, continual learning, the ability to keep acquiring new skills over extended time periods without forgetting old capabilities, remains essentially unsolved. The paper specifically notes that when it comes to continual learning and self-improvement, the human brain still represents the gold standard that artificial systems cannot match. The human brain adapts through neuroplasticity, which is its ability to literally rewire neural connections in response to new experiences and memories. Without that fundamental capability, a person would essentially be trapped in the present moment, unable to form new long-term memories, similar to someone suffering from anterograde amnesia. Current AI models operate in a strikingly similar way. Their accessible knowledge exists in only two places. Whatever information fits within their limited short-term context window, and whatever they memorize during initial pre-training. There's no intermediate mechanism for continuous knowledge acquisition. Theoretically, you could just continuously update a model's parameters every time it encounters new information. But that approach immediately causes catastrophic forgetting. The model learns the new information, but systematically destroys its previous knowledge in the process. Researchers have attempted to patch this fundamental flaw with improved architectures and more sophisticated optimizers but they've consistently treated those two components, the neural network architecture itself and the algorithm that trains it as separate independent systems. That separation, Google argues convincingly in this paper, is precisely what's been holding back progress on continual learning. So their paper titled, Nested Learning, the illusion of deep learning architectures asks a genuinely revolutionary question. What if the model and the training process aren't actually separate things at all? What if they're fundamentally the same system viewed from different perspectives? Here's what that conceptual shift actually means in practice. Nested learning views an AI model not as one monolithic learning system, but as a collection of many interconnected learning systems all nested hierarchically inside each other, each with its own information flow patterns and its own rate of parameter updating. Some components learn extremely 
extremely fast, adapting rapidly to new data. Others learn slowly, consolidating information over extended periods. Together, they form what Google calls a layered memory system that can adapt to new information without catastrophically forgetting previous knowledge. This is what the researchers mean by deeper computational depth. It's not just stacking more transformer layers vertically, which is how current models scale. It's creating layers that learn differently over time, operating at different temporal scales simultaneously. To make this concept clearer, Google draws explicit comparisons to how human brains handle associative memory, like the process of seeing a familiar face and immediately remembering the associated name. The researchers point out that even the training process itself, specifically backpropagation, can be conceptualized as a form of associative memory. The model is constantly matching incoming data against its current knowledge to determine how surprising or novel that information is. Learning to recognize which information genuinely stands out is important. And when you examine transformer architecture closely, each component, the attention mechanism, the feed-forward layers, the memory systems, is really just another one of these smaller memory loops, all updating at different rates and time scales. Google argues this is precisely how biological brains function as well. Multi-timescale learning, where different neural systems update at dramatically different frequencies. By explicitly controlling how frequently each component of the model updates, essentially its learning speed and rate, they can organize all those nested components into hierarchical levels. That hierarchical structure forms the architectural heart of nested learning. The paper then explains how this fundamental idea transforms everything about how we train models. This section gets somewhat more technical, but it's worth understanding. Google completely redefines optimizers, the algorithms that actually adjust a model's weights during training, as their own independent memory systems rather than just mathematical update rules. Instead of treating each training data point as completely independent, these reconceptualized optimizers can now remember relationships between data points, which makes them substantially more stable and robust when training data is noisy, incomplete, or imperfect. For the architecture itself, Google introduces what they call a continuum memory system, abbreviated as CMS. In a standard transformer architecture, the attention mechanism functions as short-term memory while feed-forward layers serve as long-term memory storage. CMS fundamentally changes this by connecting those memory systems into a complete spectrum, creating a smooth continuum of memory types updating at different speeds from milliseconds to potentially months. This gives the model dramatically richer, more human-like memory recall capabilities. To actually test whether these theoretical ideas work in practice, Google built an entirely new model architecture called HOPE, which stands for a self-modifying version of a memory-intensive architecture known as Titans. Titans were specifically designed to manage long-term memory effectively. They function by storing information based on how surprising or important it is, somewhat similar to how human brains tend to remember unusual or emotionally significant events most vividly. The fundamental problem with Titans was they only operated with two distinct levels of learning, short-term and long-term memory. They could remember information well, but they couldn't continuously improve how they remember or adapt their memory mechanisms over time. That's the critical limitation HOPE was designed to solve. It adds theoretically unlimited hierarchical learning levels, like stacking infinite layers of interconnected memory and learning systems. Hope can literally update its own learning process dynamically, creating a continuous feedback loop where the model tweaks its own learning algorithm as it encounters new data. It's almost like a genuinely self-improving neural network that becomes better at learning over time. And according to Google's benchmarks, it actually works as advertised. Hope outperforms standard transformers Titans, and Mamba 2 architectures across multiple evaluation benchmarks. It achieves lower perplexity scores, higher accuracy metrics, and substantially better long context reasoning capabilities. In the notorious needle in a haystack tests, where models must locate small specific details buried deep within massive chunks of text, both Hope and Titans performed nearly perfectly, far ahead of older architectures like Mamba 2 and TTT. These results suggest Google has demonstrated a fundamentally new way to construct AI systems. Instead of treating what the model is as separate from how it learns, they've merged those concepts into a unified framework. That might sound abstract or purely academic, but it could genuinely represent the key to solving artificial intelligence's biggest fundamental flaw. 
the inability to learn continuously without forgetting. As the researchers write in their conclusion, they believe the nested learning paradigm offers a robust foundation for closing the gap between the limited, static nature of current large language models and the remarkable continual learning abilities demonstrated by the human brain. Nested learning remains early stage research and the performance improvements, while consistent, aren't yet dramatically superior to existing approaches. But this appears to represent an actual concrete step toward AGI, or at minimum, toward AI systems that learn more like biological intelligence. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.